everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 15th, 2020. So right off the bat here, let me just get this out of the way. If you want a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I have a huge library of courses available at gumroad.com. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon, which is what makes this possible. All of that information with some other resources are in the description box below. Okay, so this week's message. This has been coming for the past few days. And I always kind of just stay open to see what we're supposed to be discussing, right? <laughs> and now it's really time to start looking at our traumas. So we might look at our traumas as an individual. This is not a time to say, there's nothing wrong with me. Everything is perfect. How I think is awesome. How you think is wrong, right? So, you know, we're trying to get away from that and we need to really look at what is triggering for us. Now, let me make it clear. This video is not meant to be a replacement for therapy. I am not a mental health care practitioner. I'm not qualified to help in that way. There's no shame in getting therapy and helping you with you know, processing whatever's coming up for you. However, I will say, please, please, please make sure that you are very careful about what kind of therapist you are working with. From personal experience, I've had two, two really bad therapists that actually caused more harm than good. I'm not saying that therapy is bad. I believe in therapy. All right. Just make sure you're very, very careful about who you are with. Yes. So what we can talk about here is the spiritual side of things. And when you go on this journey of um, personal healing, if you're listening to this and you just know, how the heck am I supposed to heal right now? I don't feel like I can, um, you know, and you're not ready for it. Everybody's going to be in a different place and that's okay. But ask yourself, do I always convince myself that I'm not ready? Do I always feel like I'm too sensitive to look at things? Because some people get into the swirl of victimhood. Yes. And that doesn't mean that you're a whiner. It doesn't mean that you complain and like you're just trying to con everybody and make yourself you know, look like a victim. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that we can get into this, uh, this cycle of disempowerment. My life has been, and I've been very open about this because I think it's important to talk about these things. My life has been filled with abuse of many, many, many different forms. And part of what I've come to realize in these past few days is, wow, I just kept skipping along and just keeping my focus on the future. And yes, I would stop and do a little healing if, you know, something was coming up. But now I think we're being asked to really look at the abuses, guys, whatever that abuse is for you because that is where we're all getting triggered. If you notice, and I've noticed it myself too, you know, when we get triggered by somebody, it's their pain crashing into our pain. And maybe we feel like I've gone through enough. Um, I've been oppressed enough. My boundaries have been crossed too many times. I want to reclaim myself. I want to reclaim my own energy. So we're in this space. We're in very interesting times. I know it's not the easiest, obviously, right? But we're in interesting times where this is definitely not only teaching us something, but we're going to have some real big self revelations. Okay. Unless you're somebody who just gets into absolute fear and says, no, 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 I refuse to look at this. Well, you know, you do it whenever it is right for you and comfortable for you with the proper support. And while we're talking about therapy, um, you know, if you say you can't afford therapy, look into other options. Look and see if there is something that your health insurance will cover. If you do not have health insurance, um, is there a program that you can be a part of? Can you join group counseling? Again, be very careful, okay, with that. Um, again, from personal experience, I've tried to do the group support for just for the thing that I was going to we had a couple of people in there who were very much in the victim mentality and every session was completely taken up by them and so um, for me it, it wasn't going to work because it reinforced that I never have a voice as a matter of fact I want to offer this um, angel souls is when I started to claim my voice and this works 
because nobody's here to interrupt me <laughs> unless a package gets delivered or something, you know, but like there's nobody here to tell me I can't say what I got to say. Someone might try to diminish what I've said. They might try to go on the attack and ruin my reputation or do whatever, but they can't do it right here, right now when I'm recording. This is when I have my voice. And going back to that example of the group therapy, but you know, before I had this as an outlet, um, it felt like I could never say what I had to say. Or if I did get something out, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just kind of moving on. So, you know, again, if, if you get with a good group, that could be very powerful for you. Okay. But I'm just saying, the reason why I'm giving these examples is, you know, do not as I do. I, I didn't uh, take care of myself well enough to say, this isn't right for me. I'm walking away and finding something else right? So be empowered, get the right support for you. All right. So this is going to be a big week of you're going to have to look at yourself. You're going to have to see where your anger is. Um, you know, I had somebody, uh, so do I want to go down this road? <laughs> um, I made, I gave someone a compliment about um, their ability to spot a car and know exactly what year it's from. I think that's impressive. There was an older gentleman who came in and laughed at me and said, well, yeah, clearly it's a da 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 da, da. So in my mind, <laughs> right, that felt like low key sexism, you know, where he, he, like he was laughing at me as like the little woman or something like that. And please don't judge me. You weren't in the situation. So please don't act like, you know, what was there. There will people be people out there who will comment about that. Oh, you're reading too much into it. Don't tell me how to feel. Okay. That's having a voice. Start standing up and tell people, you will not tell me how to feel. Um, you can start saying, don't talk about my life because that's, you know, something else too. Do you have family members, friends, colleagues who tell you who you are because they concluded in their head some version of you and they're pressing that upon you and saying, you must act as I think you should. I've given the example before, right before I left my last corporate job, I had started Angel Souls at that point and um, I was getting ready to start. I, I don't think I had gone pro just yet, <laughs> pro. I hadn't really, <laughs> I was just getting it um, started. I hadn't gone public with it yet uh, or released Angel Souls as a YouTube channel yet. And this colleague came up to me and said, that's not you. And she said it in front of a bunch of people. And she was so like, this is what I'm saying heal the trauma, see what's going on in that brain. Because <laughs> I wish she would have done that too, because it was baffling to me. She's literally telling me my version of you, how I think of you is who you are. Arguing with me. Or do you have people who come up and say, I know how you think. I know how you believe. We need to start taking this back for ourselves across the board. Okay. So when someone comes up and they act like they know you, I'm getting this message here to start setting a boundary and don't let yourself be defined by other people's opinions. And I know it's very popular for us to say, I don't do that. I never allow anybody's opinion to matter to me. The people who come out forthright and just say that, it almost comes off as defensive and you need to look at that, <laughs> right? Why would you feel the need to actually come out and state I'm never, you know, influenced by anybody's opinion. We're all influenced by people's opinions. Okay. We're all to some extent. And I think that's what we're being asked to look at. Right. So try not to go into self-denial, um, into our little surface level. And here's the important part, the surface level empowering statements. Right. And look at what's really there. So we're, we're being asked to do the work. So the trauma healing, this is an energetic thing as well. And it's not just, oh, I'm going to clear my chakras. I'm going to call on Archangel Raphael and work on my heart. Um, I'm going to call on Gabriel to work on my sacral chakra, which is the seat of sexuality and, you know, um, creative life force and all that good stuff. You know, I'm going to just clear those chakras out and then I'm going to be fine. We're discovering more and more <laughs> just the expansiveness of our beings. And this is going to have to come down to, we're going to get deep here as time goes on. 
where it's not just hanging on to these cute little stories that we get told, right? Um, but rather going, okay, if I silenced all of that, if I unplug from all stories, and that includes stories that get cycled in the spirituality and new age communities, if I unplug from all of that, where am I now? And what is this? You might come to discover you get a vision of a hole in your energy field. Ask questions. Don't just look at yourself as like, oh, I'm an almighty, powerful healer. You know, I'm going to fill it with light and then I'm good. <laughs> right? But rather ask the questions. Where, where did that hole come from? If you get a flash of somebody in your head, okay, maybe you have some unresolved feelings there. What can you do with that? If anger comes up, you know, in some place, it doesn't mean that you have to immediately rush through that healing and release it, you know, and act like it never happened, right? But rather look at it, sit with it. Um, what is this teaching me about myself? You know, I, I was giving the example of having experienced many different forms of abuse. And I've been, it's been on my mind and I've been working through it. And I went out today and there was somebody <laughs> who uh, was on a trail and I'm not going to get into all the details, but basically this person was trying to have a power struggle and was kind of uh, trying to provoke me and was kind of poking. And I'm, I'm no dummy when it comes to energy. Like even if you're not talking, I know what you're saying. <laughs> like, sorry, it, it's just, that's how I was born, all right? I've always been able to do that. And so this person was, you know, just trying to do this. And, and I walked away, and I, I remember getting around this person, and because I didn't engage with her, I kept on walking, and she was very passive-aggressively aggressively yelling after me. I know that doesn't make sense. She was passive-aggressively yelling after me. No, she was like talking to somebody else in a loud way going, now see, we should have let her go by. We should have, you know, just being ridiculous, okay? I know that doesn't make sense to you, but just trust me, it was ridiculous, okay? And I went on by, and I'm like, I ain't got time for this, okay? Like, there are too many things going on in the world. There's too many important things to get done. I want to get home. I have videos to record. I have a life, right? So <laughs> we got to keep it moving. So I walked away and as I'm driving home, this big revelation hit me where I was like, I could have been her. You know, if I didn't learn the things that I learned, I might be bumbling through life with no consideration of others. I might be bumbling through life thinking that people aren't really in pain. Now, I don't know this woman's story, okay? And I'm not trying to pretend that I do, but it was just part of this, this moment of, you know, having gone through what I have. It has developed my empathy to fit into a human world. So there's a lot of you out there, you're empaths, so we're built for empathy. We're built for divine love. Do you ever feel like the love that's exchanged here on the earth doesn't quite hit the mark? You ever feel like that? Because you remember. You remember how good it can be. You remember how deep and there, there are no words, how amazing, that's the best one I got right now, <laughs> divine love really is. So there will be things that occur in our lives. And yes, they're horrible, okay? But we're being asked now to take care of ourselves and to make sure that when things are breaking open, we're using that as the opportunity that it is to see what's going on, clean out the wound, and start the process of healing. When we experience things like this, you know, these horrible stories, it does help us build our empathy. And in a weird way, I don't know if this is the right way to put this, but in a weird way that helps us connect to other people. And when we're healing as individuals, then that contributes to the collective healing. All right. So if you are somebody who um, you, you see things through your white person lens, take a look at that. If you're somebody whose response tends to be a little sexist, look at that. You know, there's nothing wrong with getting educated. 
And people have hated that. I've lost lots of sub subscribers from last week <laughs> because people hate it when we speak up and say, hey, we might not be right. We might have some issues. We might need to look at this. You better buckle up, honey, because this is just the first step. This was the first triage moment. There's so much more to come. So the, the trauma healing is for you and it's to start basically remembering who we authentically are. We talk about that all the time. Um, and also getting us into full power, right? Not full power so that we can be angry necessarily, right? Because that works against, but when we we're coming into our full power, we don't believe the stories anymore. And so they can't hurt us as much anymore. And then we start to see a different road and we start to make different choices and we're coming together, we're supporting one another, this sort of thing. All right, so I hope I'm explaining that well enough, but try to work on that for yourself this week. Again, I've already been trying to do this myself. <sighs> Within just a few days, I already felt so much better. I really did and I know this is a journey and I'm gonna commit to this healing process because you know we, we all need to realize that us healing ourselves as individuals is help helping to heal the collective okay all right want one more shuffle i think something like that yeah first card out we have is agate healthy body so here's what's happening uh, when we are having all this stress you know the fear the anxiety uh, for some of you maybe it's depression again if you are going through that please do not hesitate to reach out and get proper help all right um, but this is going to take a toll on our bodies and the fact that we have been um, our environment let's say has been offering up some toxins and toxins go in our food and and what have you and when we combine that with stress and anxiety and pain coming to the surface and fear and anger and all of that it will start taking a toll on the body uh, before I started really kind of just decompressing and letting all of that you know fiery energy go I was feeling fatigued um, you know was kind of very lethargic and and all of that and I'm glad that I sat and did my breathing and tried to do some releasing and some energy work around healing trauma it's a process but you know doing that and making sure I get out into nature making sure I'm nourishing my body and I feel so much better <laughs> it didn't take much so be aware of that healthy body and I'm going to be really smart this time and stick the cards that I have to do b-roll on aside <laughs> so I can do that okay so next up we have here black tourmaline protection so this is a sense of people not feeling safe not really sure what's going on there could be more information coming out about things that just blow our minds it's weird because it's all stuff even what we've seen so far we knew that there was always um a possibility of a repeat of 1918 right experts have been saying that for a long time but we didn't really understand it until it happened we've known about racism for forever okay of course we have but it took a video there were lots of videos in the past but it took this one video to finally get more awakening happening right so it's that kind of thing there might be more of this to come uh, I don't know if it'll just uh, it'll be a little bit this week, baby, but um, yeah, we're just breaking things open now, guys. But the more you resist, first of all, you're not helping your fellow humans. You're not healing yourself. You're not helping your fellow humans. You're, you're putting that energy out into the collective and it's just going to keep dragging on. But if we all sit down, get honest with one another, heal ourselves, try to, you know, be a support to one another be in this together we can feel like we're safe we can feel like the negativity is getting sucked out and we can be a little more grounded i just had an interaction with somebody um and yeah you know, let's just say that this person had the exact opposite viewpoints that i happen to have and this person 
he he's the one who did this because he said something and I was like, oh, but what about this, this, and this? And he said, I, I want to be completely respectful. Thank you so much for offering your perspective. And I was like, and I had to test my own judgment too because I just assumed that this guy was going to fly off the handle at me and start yelling at me because that's historically what happens, right? Um, but he didn't do that. He kept it very calm and respectful and suddenly my heart opened and I wanted to be calm and respectful to him as well and not feel guarded like he's you know, going to start something with me and make me feel unsafe or whatever. We ended up having a great conversation at the end. Neither one of us agree with one another, but like we were still respectful human being to human being. And that's the thing. We're starting to realize that everything is coming up and there's more to come. I cannot stress that enough. Did you hear me the 20,000 times I've said it? There is more to come. There's more to come. This is about us coming together and working against evil. That's what's happening. And we'll start seeing where evil seeps into people where they deny their souls so that evil has a place there that's what it is it's not the divisive story that we've always been told all right so the next card out is amethyst meditation here you go here is that healing here is that um, spiritual work this is energy work <laughs> This is crown chakra goodies, okay? Uh, this is bringing, you know, bringing that breath into the body and seeing where you have trauma held in the body. We do have healthy body and we have meditation. So where is the energy stuck? Where do you have pain? Do you have lower back pain? Do you get headaches? You know, all these kinds of things. So, you know, you wanna start looking at that for this week not just this week. I mean, it's just the week that we're bringing it up, right? You want to keep yourself out of that stress, that fight or flight response. Okay. Then we have diapside mother earth. This is one of the most powerful healing tools that we have. Uh, getting out into nature, as we say, is very detoxifying. It's very grounding. Uh, yesterday, let me share another story. Uh, yesterday I went for a hike and weirdly, it was nice and cool because um, we've been having really hot days here in Colorado Springs. But yesterday was nice and cool. And there's this one trail that I've always just wanted to go down close to the creek and just kind of sit there and relax. But I never can because there's always people who were there first. <laughs> so <laughs> it's always kind of busy. Yesterday there was nobody. There was nobody. And I was able to go down. I took my shoes off and I just made direct contact with the earth with gorgeous nature all around me. Now, that water was by a creek and that water came up and tickled my toes and it was freezing cold, okay? But, <laughs> but at least I got to take my, my shoes off and just ground a little bit. And it was phenomenal and it's such an easy thing. And if you're lucky enough to have a house with a backyard, you can do that all the time. Maybe not dipping your toes into a creek, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can, you can have that contact with the earth. So give that a shot. Let's get a color card. My table's far away. <laughs> How does this happen? I have the same setup every week and yet the table just finds its own place. All right, so let's get a color card here. Let's see what else we have. Now, you're going to see me in the same outfit. Um, I'm going to record next week's video as well. We have yet more construction going on around my apartment building. <laughs> it's never ending. What, I, like one of these days, if they announce one more construction project, I'm like, what are you fixing? You already fixed everything. You doing it over? Like, what are you doing? All right, so blue, here we go. Activate your healing power. The number is 37, if 37 is meaningful to you, or the number 10, which reduces to one. We were talking about focusing on getting reconnected healing yourself, healing that trauma. And this is asking us to, to reconnect with cosmic energy. Let's not forget ourselves, okay? Let some of that cosmic energy flow in, all right? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.